Welcome back design students. In this next video on text reveals using masks in After Effects, I'm going to show you how to use lens flares, which is something that's quite common in uh, motion graphics, to accomplish some interesting effects uh, using masks and doing text reveals. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new composition here. I'm going to leave the background black. And then I'm going to create a new solid. I'm going to make its background black. And this solid layer is going to contain the lens flare. So to find the lens flare, you come up to Effect, Generate, Lens Flare. You can also find it by coming over here to your Effects tab and mine is hidden if I click this little thing right here, here it is, and typing in lens flare and you will search it and see it right there. And when you apply the lens flare you can see right here that uh, it appeared on the layer and um, its settings appeared over here in the effect controls area. Now we can control a number of things about this. We can control the center of the flare which is right here and we can also do this X and Y. We can control the brightness of the lens flare with this setting. And here we can change the type of lens flare that it is. And these numbers have to do with um, certain types of lenses on a camera. And then we can also blend the layer with the original, which really doesn't do much in this case. So let's go ahead and adjust the brightness of the lens flare. I'm going to leave it at 105 prime. I like that one. And then, of course, I also want to call your attention to the fact that every one of these parameters can be animated, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to animate the brightness and the center position uh, to have it move across the screen or up and down. Now, this looks pretty cool as it is, but it would be even better if we could manipulate its color. So to do that, we're going to add another effect. We're going to go to Effects, Color Correction. There's all sorts of things in here that you can use to adjust the color of any given layer. And I'm going to select Curves. Now in Curves, you can either manipulate the uh, Master Channel here, or you can manipulate the Red, the Green, the Blue Channel, or the alpha channel, which is the transparency. I want to make this a little bluer, so I'm going to pull up the blue. Oops, sorry. I'm going to pull up the blue channel, and then I'm going to pull down the green and the red, just a little, to make it nice and blue. Another interesting thing people sometimes do with lens flares is they um, they'll put them off the edge of the screen like this and jack up the brightness and just have them kind of be off the edge like that, giving some atmosphere to the scene. So let's put this thing somewhere. So find the center of it again. There it is. Can manipulate the center by just clicking on it and dragging. I'm going to pull the brightness down to say zero. And now let's put some text in the scene. I'm going to put the center of my lens flare over here to one side. And let's create a new text layer by using the text tool. I'm just going to click it, click in the middle here, and start typing. I'm just going to type my name. And I'm going to use the align tools to center it. And I'm going to adjust the uh, tracking, the space between the letters, a little bit, and then center it again. And then, as we've done in the past, I'm going to mask it by getting the Rectangle Mask tool and creating a mask. Now I'm going to take this mask and move it, get into the Move tool and move it over a little bit. And then I'm going to hide the mask edge here. You can do that by clicking this little button here. Because what I want to do is open up the mask and adjust the feather here until I get a nice soft edge. You can't really see it when the edge of the mask is visible there. Then I'll turn that back on so I can see the mask. And then we're going to take this mask and, oops, well we can do it that way too. We can just move that whole side of it and move it so that the text 
is not visible. And now let's select the um, lens flare, which is on the solid. We can find it under the effects portion here. I'm just going to click it so I can find it and I can see it up here as well. And we're going to animate the position and the brightness of this. So let's start with the center. We want this thing to move all the way across the screen. So I'm going to turn on the watch for the flare center setting. I'm going to move it forward a few frames. Then I'm going to take its X position and move it all the way across the screen, like so. And then I have two keyframes here. I'm going to close this text layer so we don't have to see that for right now, but you can see the two keyframes right here. And let's play that in real time and see how fast that is. Well, we don't really know because we can't really see the center. We may have to adjust that later. All right, so we also want to um, animate the brightness because we want it to be very bright right here in the center as it goes across the screen to reveal the text. So let's turn on the flare brightness animation, creating a keyframe there. I'm going to move to where it's in the middle and jack up the brightness quite a lot. And then we're going to move to the end and make it zero again. And so what we end up with is something like this. And then we're going to animate the position of the mask. So now we need to open up the text layer, the mask. We're going to animate the mask path. So select the mask and turn on animation for the mask path. And I'm just going to animate these two points here, not the whole thing this time. So I'm going to select the um, black solid layer where the lens flare is and push U so I can access those keyframes. And I'm going to move it. And I'm going to go back to the mask path. I'm going to move this in. And then I'm going to grab these two points here. And if I just click away and then click the two points by holding down shift, I can begin to do that. Not sure I want it to be visible just yet. Maybe here, and then obviously, yes, here, and then definitely here. So let's see what that looks like. And you can see the mask moving. And that is how you use a lens flare for a text review. And there's lots of other things you can do with a lens flare. You can composite them on top of actual video layers and blend them in. Um, I could create, uh, I could get an image and put it in the background. In fact, let's do that real quick. So I'm going to import an image real quick just to show you how this works. I'm going to go to um, this. We've used this before in other projects. It's just a image here and I'm going to, it came in as its own comp probably because I forgot to check a box, but it's in my project um, bin here. So I'm going to drag this down to be behind my solid layer that contains my lens flare. And you notice I can't see it. But if I change the blending mode of this solid layer to screen, and if you don't see this blending mode, you need to come down here. I know it's hard to see, but down in the very lower left-hand corner, is the layer blending button. It's this one right here. Turn it on if you don't see these uh, modes, this mode section. Change this to screen. Oops, wrong one. Change the layer, the solid, the lens flare layer to screen. And you'll be able to see the lens flare over the picture layer. And that looks better probably than just a black background. And then, of course, we could add an effect to here, to the uh, picture layer, like a blur, like maybe a radial blur. So I like these a lot. I'm going to change it to, change the type to zoom, and change the amount. And 
might take it a minute to happen. There you go. And so we end up with this. And I don't look too bad. And this is what it looks like. Could probably speed it up a little bit, but you get the idea. And that is how you use a lens flare to reveal text. That is how you animate a lens flare, change its color and its type, and how you blend it with a photographic or video layer as well. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you in the next lesson.